Hi there fellow hobbyists! I'm Xisha from Third Ionic Studios and in this video I'm going to show you how to paint urban bases. All the information about the equipment and the paints that I'm using will be underneath the video so you don't have to take any notes, just watch how I'm doing it and hopefully it'll be really useful for you guys. This is a type of base we use a lot um, in our work. It's a type of a urban, rocky landscape. We uh, make them from cork and we also uh, cast them. Those ones are from resin and I've already sprayed them with um, Chaos Black. But just to make sure we pick in all the areas, like the area there underneath the rock, I'm gonna um, airbrush it with um, Vallejo Black Surface Primer. Um, when we work with some you know, primers and uh, varnishes. We usually use um, um, Badger Patriot airbrush that we have. Badger 105 actually. Um, it's really good for this type of thing. It's um, It's got a very large needle and you basically just have a really smooth um, you know, spray that you know, it doesn't really clog up, it's quite fast, you know, you, you don't want to use your expensive airbrushes to do some, you know, basing coats and like that, and definitely not vanishes. So I'm gonna um, do all those bases and we'll just go stage by stage from there. For the next stage, I'm going to cover the whole base uh, with a light grey by Vallejo Model Air. I'm going to use my Harder and Steinberg Infinity airbrush with 0.4 needle. In the next stage, I'm going to spray a Dark Earth Vallejo Model Air and I'm going to spray it strategically around um, the edges of the base in all kind of like underneath the stone to create a sort of an earthier look in some areas but I'm not covering the light grey completely I'm just sort of, you know, adding, adding more texture color to the base. The next stage would be to dry brush the bases uh, with a light grey. To achieve the type of grey that we want, we're going to use Citadel White Scar and Citadel administratum grey, but you can use any type of grey of a, of a mid-tone. Mid the type of grey we're looking to mix is a grey that's going to be lighter than the base. It's going to be very very light grey. For those of you that are not sure how to dry brush, I'm going to do a quick demonstration. You dip your kind of wide dry brushing brush you get a bit of a um, kitchen towel and you just basically wipe all the paint off um, you don't wipe all of it, you leave a little bit and this little bit will be more like a powdery amount it's, it's not enough to, you, do, you don't want to smother um, the model or the base you just want to basically um, pick out all the edges on all the stones, all the rocks, all the surfaces, so this turned out very, very well. So we're just gonna dry brush very, very lightly. You know, you don't need to put a lot of pressure, but it's just kind of a strong sort of stroke. The next stage will be to dry brush um, the bases uh, very light silver. Um, the silver I'm going to be using is uh, Vallejo Model Air Chrome. Um, it's, it's really good because basically you're just going to 
pick out all the areas that you just picked out with a light gray you're gonna pick out it with silver and it's just gonna make those areas stand out even more and have a little bit more life and it it, it will look really really nice The next stage is to uh, spray uh, Vallejo Air Black Brown sort of around similar areas that we sprayed um, the earthy color before. We're just going around and we're going here and there in the stones. We don't cover you know, the work you've done, just sort of enhance um, all the little cracks and just try to sort of get it a bit more moody. You know, there's no rule about it. You just kind of see how you kind of feel as you go and you know adjust it to every single base The next stage uh, is to mix black brown and black in about ratio one to one. We're trying to achieve a very very sort of dark color, like a very very dark brown, almost black brown, and we just go in, you know, really really just small areas. We're not going into much, just here and there, just picking it out, just make. Areas that you think you know you want to add some depth, you want to just make it just more three dimensional, really. The next thing I'm going to do is put um, a bit of uh, pigment powder on. It's an option, it, you don't have to do it, it's, it's up to you. You can use any color pigment you like. I use um, MIG pigments. I have um, Industry City Dirt, which is a sort of a grey color, and um, Dark Mud, which is sort of a medium brown color. Uh, and all you kind of need to do is you dab, um, you dab your paint brush into one of those. It's very powdery. And you just sort of like Double in areas that you like um, on 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 your base, and it makes makes it look um, sort of you know not as polished, a little bit more matte, um, dirty. If that's the look you're going for, it's really nice. It's nice to mix things up, you know, just. It, it, it's a nice touch, you don't have to do it. I think, you know, you're not going to do it for um, troop choice, but you might do it for some special model, like a big model. It's a really good, it's a really nice uh, thing to use on your base. Another thing you can do with the pigment is once you sort of dabbed it around uh, with a dry brush, you can actually add a little bit of water and um, that's just gonna make it look, you know, a bit brighter and a bit muddier. It's it's a nice it's a nice technique, basically. Um, and the final stage um, uh, when we're gonna finish this um, tutorial is to actually um, just go around the edge with your normal medium-sized brush. Go around the edge with a black. Uh, any black can do. I use um, a baden black from Citadel. Sometimes I um, spray the black through the air through the airbrush, but it depends. It depends on the model. In bigger models, it's it's quite nice uh, because you don't see such a sharp, you know, finishing line between the base and the side but on smaller ones it it tends to you know cover you know some of your work and it's it's not much needed just to do it by hand 
So that's all the painting done. Uh, after that you can add some extra bits like grass, snow, water effect, whatever you like to make it more personal to your army. And let us know what you thought about the video. Leave the comments below and give us some tips on how you make your bases. And see you next time.